Today I'm going to be going over and reviewing the trick called Hologram by David Stone. Essentially what it is, you make a sticker appear on a card, and then the flick of your fingers, you could change the color to a different one. Super visual trick. It gets really good reactions. It's fun to play with, and I really like it. I'm not big into gimmicks, as if you watch my other channel, JS Magic, I prefer sleight of hand. But I gave this gimmick a try, and I'm happy I did. So the gimmicks you get in the package, you get two. You get one with a big sticker, one with a little sticker. And then they give you stickers to put on the card that the spectator signs. Smaller ones, because I believe they're from the guy who made it is from France. So these are the France size. And these are the American size. So big and small, which is cool. I don't really mind the size of the sticker. Either way, it looks good to me. And now I have two in case one eventually does wear out or break or anything. But the reason I do like this gimmick is because I am not worried it's going to break. I think it's made really well. And I'm not scared to use it a bunch of times. And that's one pro that really made me make this uh this review to tell you is I'm not scared to use these or that they'll break. And that's a big deal for me, I guess, when I'm using gimmicks. I also like this because it's good in person and it's good virtually, whether you want to do a social media or you want to perform, you know, on Migo like I do, it works either way. So I have three performances I want to show you of me performing this. Two on the streets and just one virtual. So you could see it work in all aspects. The first performance is it going beautifully. They pick a card, they sign it, they put the sticker on, it's lost into the middle. The card doesn't sitting there the whole time. The sticker appears a different color. I flick it. It turns to the right color. I do what I got to do. I turn it over and it's their card. That's signed. They go they go crazy. So here's that performance. Let's get right into it. Stickers, we're going to use those in a second. Over here, I have all these cards. All different. No, no, you're fine. You're fine. You see all the cards are different? So I'm going to have you guys pick one and sign one just so you know it's not a fake deck and anything. So I guess you take out a card, anyone you want. You like that one? Oh, no, no. Oh, don't show him. It's all right, it's all right. Don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. It's okay. Put your name or initials on the front of it. Just be careful. It's open. Double D. And guys, look, as she's doing that, whatever card this top card is, look, this mystery card. Remember I put this here before she gave me her card back. Yeah. And guys, look, actually, I never did this before. <laughs> well, look, on the back of her card, I can see it. Your card, you see with a sticker on top of it. So now it's like unique on the front, on the back too. I give it a little bit of a shuffle. Now, guys, before I find your card, you probably expect that, right? Yeah. yeah. But what if I told you, what's up, buddy? What, what if I told you that card, what if I told you that mystery card is actually the card that you signed? No way. Would you believe it? doesn't have the blue dot. Oh, okay, good, good. That's what I was going to say. A lot of people, I said, this, if this was the, the card that she just signed, that would be pretty cool, right? But she's right. It doesn't have the dot on it. So I'm going to back up so everyone can see on the camera. I want you guys to use your imagination and imagine a sticker is about to appear on the count of three. One, two. Well, wait a second. Wait, wasn't it? Wait, wasn't it? It was a blue sticker. But wait, wait, that's not even the craziest part. Check it out. You guys see your imagination made that possible. So doing this a bunch of times, I ran into an issue where, as you can see in this performance, it's not really an issue, but it's just the sticker appearing and it's the color that was originally. So if they put a blue sticker on their sign card and when you do the gimmick, it appears blue instead of yellow and then you're able to flick it. So you lose that moment of visual, the visual when you flick it. But I don't know, it's happened to me a bunch of times where it's either I forgot to put the, the, the sticker on the right side so it appeared as a different color or the way I made it appear, it just flipped by itself, which happens when you're holding it in your hands. And you move your thumb with the whole deck, which I will show you an in-studio performance of that. But it doesn't really take anything away from it. Yeah, you don't get that fun moment or the visual moment of flicking it. But in their minds, that's a random card. That is just the color of their sticker just appeared. And then you turn it over and it's their signed card. So here's that performance. We'll take out this card. We'll say this is a mystery card. We'll get back to it in a second. Fair? Any card you want, you put your name on it and then show the camera. Make sure I don't see it. Perfect. My friend, as big as you can, put your initials. Don't worry about ruining it. No, bro. This game, bro. What's going to happen? I put my initials on the back? Yeah, please. Not on the front, the front, the front. On the front? Yeah, yeah. It'll be too easy. Don't let me see it, bro. What you doing? I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Don't worry. Don't worry. Good, bro. Come on, man. All right, show the camera. I'll take the sharpie. Oh, no. 
floor. This is crazy. So this is what just flew away. A little bit of a sticker. I'm going to make this card even more unique. So it's signed. Like sign on the face. We have a sticker on the back. So we'll recognize it. Let me lose it in the middle. But here's the question. Before I find your card, this is a little bit of a weird question. Would you guys believe me if I told you that mystery card that I put there before you picked the card, before you signed the card, was actually your card? Nah. Nah, I don't. I don't believe I believe I was so I don't I don't I don't blame you for not believing me, because think about it, there's no sticker on it. You literally just only put a sticker on your card. But we're gonna use your imagination. Come a little closer, my friend. We're gonna use your imagination and my magic on the count of three. What I want you to do in the middle is imagine a sticker appearing. One, two, whoa. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Well, look, you guys what like, is the change? This is just that. It's not just any cards. On the DVD, he, David Stone does a good job of teaching. You know, I'm not one of those magicians that watches the entire tutorial of tricks, whether it be, you know, gimmicks, sleight of hand, or anything like that. I just want to watch the bare minimum and then figure out on my own, you know, help, let my own creative process figure out how to perform it instead of, you know, following it and doing it exactly they do it. But sometimes you really can't help it, especially with uh, gimmicks. But I'm just going to show you a couple of ways to make the sticker appear and just how to change it. And like I said before, it works beautifully virtually. I love doing it on Omegle. I'm going to end this video with uh, just a performance on Omegle, just so you can get one more performance and see it work there. But I definitely give this, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. I love it. I'm going to be doing it for a while. And if it ever comes to the point where it does wear out or break, I will buy another one because I do like this a lot. Very visual. It's pretty easy to do. It may look a little tedious, I guess, but it's not. It's very easy to do. The gimmicks are well made. And like I said, from what I saw in the tutorial, David, David Stone does a very good job at teaching. So I would suggest picking this up if you're on the fence about it or if you're just finding it now through this video. Yeah, give, give it a chance. I think you'll really like it. And here's me performing it virtually. Guys, I will see you next time. Thank you. I just took, again, I'm not showing you till later. I just, I didn't write nothing on it. I just took out a card. Well, it's a mystery card. Just to be fair, I'm going to do this face up. Say stop wherever you want. Ten of clubs. I'm gonna put a sticker on it. So you see, look, the only card. Yeah, it was a blue little sticker. Put a sticker. Okay. And this is what we do. I'm gonna put it, I don't know, about middle, give or take. Lose it up. Now this mystery card, would you believe me if I told you it's your card? Yeah. You would? <laughs> even though it doesn't have a sticker on it? Yes, sir. Alright, well, that's cool. It gives me a confidence I'm gonna get this right. Watch, I'm gonna make it your card. One, Dude, I swear. two, three. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> that was pretty weird, but it's actually not the right color. What was the color? Wait, 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 wait. Why did it, why did... <laughs> I can actually fix it. What was your question? Um, can you, no, 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 go back, go back. Rip that little sticker off, little guy. Of course. Anything you want, my friend. It's magic. <laughs>